All right, let's come to this now. There are major changes planned for schooling in the country, and these changes haven't been made uh, since 1996. Now, submissions are currently being heard on amendments to the Basic Education Act. Among the changes is the move of admission and language policies from SGBs to provincial education heads. It also seeks to criminalize parents who keep children out of school. So let's discuss this even further now with Boa van der Eems from Homeschooling Activist Organization, the Pestalo. Uh, trust joining me this morning. Thank you so much for your time, Bowe, and uh, good morning to you. I think your overall comment and reaction, uh, of course, uh, to these amendments expected and uh, some proposal here tabled by the Basic Education Department. Uh, good morning, Domelo. Thank you for this opportunity. Yes, we uh, did our oral presentations to the um, Portfolio Committee of Basic Education uh, yesterday, and our three main arguments was that parents are uh, homeschooling parents will be resisting these uh, contemplated changes uh, for for uh, various reasons firstly the the uh, their freedom of choice of curriculum will be restricted furthermore their privacy will be um, infringed upon by a requirement for home visits uh, furthermore uh, one of the changes contemplated for um, home education is that the minister must have unfettered regulatory powers to make uh, to to make regulations enforceable regulations over time this in itself can uh, it is a tool through which the minister can make home education impossible over time mm. and then also the the penalty clause is unjustifiable with that being said, particularly when it comes to forcing homeschooled learners to be registered uh, for this uh, type of, of, of schooling, I mean, uh, your engagement, if you had any, with the Department of Basic Education, uh, where do you think this actually comes from? What informed this proposal, do you think? Yeah, it, it was... Uh we had uh, discussions with the minister and, and there were also some meetings where the minister verbally said that she is positive about home education. But unfortunately, the content of the billable doesn't doesn't match that uh, expression of appreciation. And mm. we also, by means of a PAJA application, uh, um, obtained minutes that indicate that the, the um, intention of these uh, legislative changes is to make home education impossible and deter parents from choosing home education. Mm. So there are minutes where, where they say that the scrapping of home education must be considered or stringent measures must be uh, put into the law to, uh, to deter parents from choosing home education. Right. But with, 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 with what you've just mentioned now, the Bella Bill, I mean, the Basic Education Laws Amendment Bill is also known as the Bella Bill. Do you think to a certain extent it almost restricts quality education? It chokes uh, the uh, options of quality education in this country? Absolutely, because in home education, uh, the, the big thing about home education, it, it, it enables parents to choose the curriculum of, or type of education for every individual child. So every child is different and 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 different curriculums are, are better for different children. And and parents can have, have got a, a choice of a diversity of curriculums. And and this freedom to choose what's the best for each individual child is restricted by the the uh, proposed amendments. Mm. And you say you're saying in this instance it takes away the freedom of choice uh, of, of of parents uh, because it speaks of uniformity. It speaks about how it wants you know the curriculum to be more uniformed, uh, but that takes away that freedom of a choosing. And as far as parents and learners concerned, absolutely. So. So in the in the previous uh, SA Schools Act, it says parents must give their children uh, education that's of the same standard. But in the the billable, it's proposed no, you must do the same contents and skills. Mm. And 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 a child might have yet, um, might have different interests in, in 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 contents and skills that are that are not in the state curriculum, and you would like to choose that for your child. And billable is going to restrict that. Well, I appreciate you, of course. Adding so we're your... not against quality. Right. Uh, sorry, we're not against quality education meeting certain standards, but not uh, you, you should not restrict 
uh, the the choices of parents to choose from a diversity of curriculums. Absolutely. Point taken there. And thank you so much for, for adding your voice to this bow with under EMS uh, Pestalozzi, trust a chairperson for joining in the conversation and those uh, submissions, of course, being tabled to Parliament and comments being open to the public as well around the better bill, the basic education amendment bill, of course, which has a lot of changes, um, which, uh, of course, have been tabled uh, since, of course, 1996. We haven't seen such drastic changes within the basic education. Those comments uh, uh, publicly are still welcome by you parents, uh, you society, uh, ensure that you also continue to, to add your voice.